going on, yo? It's Gum Gum TCG here, back again with another new series. I know, I keep on making these things, but I really think you're gonna like this one. This one's gonna be called Let Me Cook. This is gonna be a series where I take a look at leaders that are underrated in my opinion. You know, leaders that a lot of people say are bad or there's something better and don't really get many top cut or much regional appearances at all. Honestly, these leaders are not as strong as most of the other ones. However, I think that they still have potential. And today we're gonna be looking at a new one that comes out in OPO5. So this is a little bit of an early look, but this is the Don Quixote, Rosinante, Corazon leader. Um, I really think that this leader has a lot of potential when you mix it with the right cards. So let's go ahead and take a look at this deck list I put together and we're gonna run into a game and see how we can do with it. Um, I think that this has a lot of potential. It is a 5,000 power leader for life. It's blue and green, which is a interesting color combo. We've seen it before in Sanji, and I think that that leader's effect is just not as impactful as uh, this leader. You know, the Sanji effect lets you get um, Dawn back for playing Vanillas from hand. But I think that this leader's effect being a blocker has a lot more potential with some bigger threat cards. So... First off, like I said, it's a 5k for life leader, blue and green. It's a blocker. And at the end of your turn, if your hand is six cards or less, you get to set him as active. So you get to block with him to defend your characters. And you also get to set him as active. So you don't have to waste that or not attack with him to be able to block with him. He auto restands, So you get to swing and then you can also protect something next uh, turn when your opponent attacks and just take the life card instead. I think this leader is severely underrated. I think the color combination is pretty good. And we're going to take a look at this list real quick and dive right into it. But first, I do want to mention I have a Discord server. If you're not a part of my Discord server, I'd love to have you in there. We're trying to build that to 100 members. And once we hit 100 members, I'm going to be doing a free box tournament. I also do a series called Tournament Toppers. I'm sure you've seen it by now. If you haven't, go ahead and click this link up here and you'll be taken to my most recent Tournament Toppers video. And uh, I take tournament topping deck lists that people share with me in my Discord from their locals or big regionals or anything they play. And I do a deck break down and we take a look at what they were running so if you want to be included in a tournament toppers video make sure to get into the discord and share your list i also want to say if you're not subscribed what are you doing please subscribe we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and if you help me reach that goal i'll be extremely grateful might even do a giveaway but that's enough chit chat let's get right into this deck list i already explained the leader effect and uh first off the bat we're gonna be looking at kind of a supernova build but uh, a lot of the cards aren't supernovas. However, we are gonna be playing Bonnie to search that half of the deck. And the main reason we're doing that is to play the Eustace Captain Kid eight cost. This card is a menace and it always will rear its ugly head back up somehow. And I think this deck, uh, this leader specifically, can take perfect advantage of that. Having a built-in blocker to protect your leader, or I'm sorry, to protect the kid is broken because a lot of the times this character is very vulnerable when you don't have a blocker on field. His effect does let you play a three cost or lower from hand. So usually you'll drop a beige on the field. However, the new best blocker for him is gonna be the Rosanante. A lot of people like to play the uh, play into the kid by destroying it or shuffling it away. But in battle or trying to pop it with something like a jet pistol, something like that, you know, Otama jet pistol, the classic kid destroyer, uh, this Rosinante takes care of that problem. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Kid because we should all know what this card does by now. It's big magnet. Your opponent has to attack this when it's rested with the Dawn and plays a character from hand. All that good stuff. The main target we're going to want to be playing from hand is going to be the new Don Quixote Rosinante blocker from OPO5. Two costs, 1,000 power, 1,000 counter. Blocker opponent's turn if one of your other rested characters would be ko'd you may instead trash this character so if they're going to try and blow this kid up or beat over it mm -mm. rosinante right to the trash instead insanely powerful so that's one way to protect it then you'll also have your leader to block another hit that's two two blocks basically two protections on this one card in one turn potentially uh off of just playing this card and dropping the rosinante from hand 
Next, we're gonna be playing two copies of the three cost Monet. This is another good blocker that comes out for green and OP05. Thousand power, thousand counter blocker when blocking rest up to one of your opponent's characters with cost up four or less just a uh, very strong get to rest a card like a punt gibson type effect and uh, can help your kid stay a little more protected as well like i said this kid is going to be the centerpiece of the deck we're going to be trying to dig through the deck with bonnie as well as our do flamingo and the new extra blocker to find this and find our tools to keep it alive so we can beat down our opponent with this as well as our leader and just protect it at all costs maybe even get two on the field uh, I'm not playing four of it because that feels very clunky, especially when you have all the stacking power and searchability with Bonnie. So we're only going to be playing three copies of it. Next, we got the one cost Capone, Bang Ga Cap Capone Gang Beige. Sorry, uh, this card's insane. Just a searchable one cost blocker. I know, so insane, right? Then we do have Jewelry Bonnie. Going to be able to search one of our 2Ks as well as the Beige and um, a couple other cards like our Punt Gibson. Uh, actually, yeah, Punk Gibson and the Kid. I believe that's going to be it that Bonnie could search. So we got one, two, oh, and our extra. So one, two, three, four, five targets for Bonnie in the deck. And we are almost maxed out on all of them. So going to be able to see something with Bonnie there. Uh, you can also search Bonnie herself. So always going to find something. Uh, next, we do have the 2K in Scratch Man and Pooh, searchable off Bonnie. And then this is another tech that I... I chose to play it's going to be the green x drake out of the uh sto2 structure deck and uh this card pairs insanely well with the captain kid as well as our leader because it's a dawn times one your turn if this character is rested your supernovas or navy type leaders and characters gain a thousand power so on our turn when this is rested our kid will gain a thousand power as well as our leader will gain a thousand power our extra blocker will gain a thousand power and uh i believe if we were to put beige on field or a poo on field they also gain a thousand power but main reason is to give that buff to kid uh rosanante and extra uh, insanely powerful just a strong beater you can maintain and you can also keep protected with your leader effect next we're playing four of the Dofi blocker uh insanely strong just get to stack the deck could also be a swing with uh dawn under it you know just super super strong utility for any blue deck we got another 2k in kaya four copies of that help dig through the deck a little bit more if we need it we got three copies of the new x strike blocker and short and simple this is a bigger Dofi blocker five cost six k six k power thousand counter blocker on play looks at the top five cards of your deck and places them at the top or bottom in any order just a stronger bigger dofi like i said it can get that buff from x drake so we do like to play this on curve if possible just be able to stack the deck make sure that on our uh nine dawn curve we're going to be able to play that kid card we do want to be on an odd curve with this deck so we can drop bonnie the first turn or a blocker the first turn and next turn hopefully the dofi blocker then the x drake then uh set up for a couple more blockers on our seven dawn turn nine dawn turn we're gonna drop kid and another blocker out of hand hopefully the rosanate and then after that we're just gonna be playing kid control with blockers baby uh next we play the one drop trafalgar law blocker just another another blocker like beige you know just a good one cost blocker we are running four copies of punk gibson got to be able to protect ourselves and defend from extra attacks when we can searchable off of bonnie super strong then i think that this card's insane it's going to make its way into almost every green deck list zero cost counter event trash card from your hand leader or character gains 3k this battle trigger rests a four or less which is really strong in my opinion um yeah gotta play it then we are running two copies of 3000 worlds as well as well as two copies of red rock to get rid of some annoying bodies when we need to uh that's gonna be the deck list and let's go ahead and jump into a game and see what we can do with this list i really hope that we can uh show off the capability of the leader in combination with kid i think that our bad matchups are going to be fast red decks and um removal base decks like blue so uh anything that's not those i feel like we'll have a good matchup against you know maybe katakuri ripping our life away will suck because then we are less likely to block with our leader but i feel like we're gonna have a good matchup against mostly everything we go up against so let's go ahead and jump into a game all right y'all we are waiting for a game to queue up here and let's see what we jump in with okay we're playing against z 
This is actually going to be quite a problem because Z is a heavy removal deck that is going to Hemet. It's going to have a, no problem getting rid of that kid. But uh, if we have enough Rosanates, that kid's not going anywhere. Let's try a new hand because that first one wasn't great. He did take our even curve from us, which kind of sucks. But we're going to just push on through it. We're going to drop our Law Blocker and pass. See if we can't keep him on field. Uh, see if he drops a Kobe on us or something gets rid of it. I feel like that's what's going to happen. I might have just held that, to be honest, but um, we are going to go ahead and just take this hit. We do want some more card advantage. And no, plays the Tashigi. Gives a little bit more minus cost so that his leader effect can pop off and some other cards can pop off for some uh, pop ability on some bigger bodies. Um, this turn, let's just go ahead and go like this. We'll go attacking in for six. Hopefully he'll just take it. You know, uh, black decks usually just take it because they have a uh, super bad card advantage. You know, they like to discard a lot of cards. So hopefully we can just whittle them down here really quickly. Uh, we're going to play this Dofi blocker and stack the deck. I'm not really liking this stack, honestly. I might just put this to the bottom because we don't really need any of these cards. Uh, we do need the Bonnie, but... Next turn, we could just play x and search again and stack. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put this stuff to the bottom. We'll put Bonnie on top and then our event followed by some blockers and stuff. Probably won't get to see those cards, so it doesn't really matter. But you never know. The game could go on forever and you could dig through your entire deck. I think this turn we are going to eat a Sakazuki. No, not a Sakazuki. Probably a Kobe. Um, he's at five, maybe a Kuzan, maybe a Borsalino, maybe a Sabo, something like that. Swinging at us for five. We are going to counter out of this with our Apu. We want to hold our blockers on field as long as we can. Hopefully he's not playing seven drop king. That would really blow us out the water. Yeah, it was a Sabo like I thought. So now his guys can't be popped for until his next turn. He gets to draw to a trash two. But we don't have to worry about anything else this turn. That kid blocker in that deck is absolutely insane. Um, I think this turn we're going to actually use our Dofi to attack. You know, we want to try and put some pressure on this guy. Because if he gets to 10 drop cues on, eh, our board's just done for. It does not matter what we put on the field. So we're going to swing for 5. And we're going to swing for 5 again. And then we're going to play this x and try to stack the deck. Yep, blocks with the Sabo. Okay, so this is perfect. This is what we want to see. We want that kid not next turn, but the turn after. So we want to put Rosanate up at the top. And then we'll drop the kid. Then maybe we do Bonnie. No, let's do Dofi so we can stack again. I'm trying to think about the best course of action here. Next turn, we're going to be playing that X Drake from our hand, and we'll be on 8 Dawn. So, X Drake, we could probably drop a Monet and then attack again. Um, yeah, I think this should work well. And that's the turn. We got three blockers on field. Our Dofi's probably not going to die unless he just pops it. He is at 7, so he could just Sakazuki pop my X Drake. That's kind of what I'm afraid of right here. I really think that's going to be his plan is Sakazuki pop the X Drake if he has it. Uh, Rob Lucci would also be very scary here because he does have Tashiki. Six into our four. You know, I am going to block this with our leader and take the hit because um, if he does have a Sakazuki, we're going to be able to try and keep one body at least. Being able to take the life instead of letting one of your character die is uh, really crazy, honestly. So he's going to go for it again. And here I think we're going to block and we're going to counter so that we get to keep our bodies. I'm going to block and I'm going to pitch this Kaya that we just got. This deck really is just blocker turbo until we get to... Oh, interesting. Until we get to that kid. Ah, uh, he's going to attack with the Tashigi. No? Wants to keep the Tashigi active? Okay. 
All right, so like I said, our plan here is going to be dropping this X Drake. We do have this extra counter in hand if we need it, but I think we want to drop this X Drake. We're at eight, so we could drop X Drake and Monet and Beige. That'd be really strong here. It does have the kid blocker up, which is annoying. I wish we had a 3000 worlds. That'd be a lot better here. But next turn, we should be in a pretty good spot unless he's got some kind of big removal that Tashiki is going to be a problem for us. Yeah, let's go ahead and do some attacking because this is going to be what seven of our dawn here. So let's go attacking with X Drake and we're going to go for leader. Try and get his life down. Takes it, no problemo. And then I want to bait out that kid block to Yep. And then we'll go X Drake and Monet. I would have liked to play the beige too, but we can always hold it and pitch it for this if we need to. And yeah, that's going to be the turn. Next turn, our kid is going to be coming down, hopefully, unless he blows up the entire field, which Z is known to do, but he's on nine dawn. So no 10 drop Kuzan, fortunately. That really would just ruin our board here. He would be able to pop our X Drake, attack with leader, shuffle some back, also replenishing off the kid, and then pop our other X Drake. So he's going to attack that X Drake. Like I said, I have a feeling he's just got a Sakazuki lurking in his hand. And he wants us to protect this. And, you know, I think we will... Let's get rid of a law blocker. And then here, um, I want to defend with our leader. We don't have much counter in hand other than this one event, which we could use. Is he still at eight dawn? Um, I think we are going to use the event because I want to try and keep the blockers on field for kid. And then we will take this hit. Bonnie's not bad. Rebecca gets the Borsalino back and then plays Borsalino. Gotcha. Okay. So he's still got some defense up. Uh, I think instead of taking that hit with our leader last turn, we should have used the Monet to rest that Tashigi. Then we could try and take that Tashigi out, and we would also have an open space for one of our Rosanantes. But let's go ahead and go like this. And we got to save our 9 Dawn for our kid. So we're going to go in for 6 on lead. Actually turns into 7 because of the X Drake's uh, effect and then I would attack with this X Drake but we're gonna replace the Monet with a Rosanante so we're only gonna attack for five he's gonna block this with Borsalino or a counter yeah well he didn't realize that our X Drake gave the boost to our leader or he just wanted the Borsalino to die so now we can go kid, attach a dawn, we'll go kid effect, play Rosanate, and replace the Monet. Uh, feels kind of bad, like I said last turn, we should have used the Monet, but here, now we have a lot of defense protecting this kid. If he, Even if he does have something like uh, the Kuzan or a Sakazuki or something like that, he's gonna have to get past this Rosanate as well as three other blockers just to get rid of this which is fine for us. We really don't care. If he does get rid of it, we still have a bunch of bodies we can attack with next turn. And we might even be able to find another kid off of our Bonnie. Yep, there's the Kuzan. He's going to blow something up. Blows up our X Drake. That's fine. It wasn't rested, so we couldn't protect it with Rosanate. 
gonna go Z into Kid here. He's gonna try and blow something up, but we have the opportunity to protect with Rosanate, which we will. And no blocker, because he's not doing enough damage. And we have that extra Rosanate to drop onto Kid next turn, which is gonna be huge. We don't even have to use the Kid ability, honestly. We could just drop it. Um, so here's the problem is he's got these two beefy blockers here. I think one of our best bets is going to be trying to search with Bonnie to find something else useful. So let's go ahead and start with that. Uh, Punk Gibson's pretty useful in this scenario. We cannot grab anything else here other than the other Bonnie. So we will take the Gibson, put the rest back to deck. We'll hold two for that. We are going to put, uh, we're going to hold, what, seven? So we need to hold the rest of our Dawn here. I guess we don't have to play Dofi. Yeah, we don't have to play Dofi. We need to put one under Kid, but we want to attack with X Drake first. So we really only need to hold four Dawn. We have eight. So let's go two under X Drake and we'll attack for eight into lead. This is countering over these six cost or six K blockers. So that if he had to use them, he had to drop a two two Ks as well. And our kid is going to be real beefy here. I'm gonna attack for 10. Yep, I forgot that Rebecca was another blocker. That's kind of shitty. At least for us. And then we can go another one. 7k blocks counters that's fine and we can go rosanate and hold for that punt gibson he does know we have it but we also have our blocker leader we have two blockers on field so that's three blocks and a 4k plus our 1k and Do dofi in hand um, and a life card so he's gonna have to hit through this kid try and blow it up but we'd have the rosanate on field unless he drops another 10 drop coups on here it's going to be hard for him to pop this because of our Rosanate. Let's see if he goes all out here and tries to win. Because I think this is going to be one of his last turns. If not his last turn. So. Fortunately, unfortunately, our Punk Gibson can only rest a four or less. So these blockers not going to get touched. Okay, so he's going to go 14 into the kid. I think here we're just going to block with lead. Take the life. That's another 1,000 counter. Here he's going to try and pop. I think he's going to play another Borsalino from hand. We have already been through two Rosanantes. Unfortunate. But I think that we still have a possibility of winning this game. He's going 8k into it. We do have a 1k in X Drake that we can use. There's that Borsalino I expected. Hmm. One thing we could do is Dofi stack the deck, then play Kaya to draw whatever we stack, hopefully being another Rosanate. But all these blockers on field for him is really strong right now and really bad for us. We are going to play the Dofi no matter what, so let's go ahead and play that. There's our Rosanate we really need. So I think the right option is to go like this yeah we'll just go like that and then we can also use Bonnie to grab an Apu that's an extra 2k uh, unfortunately here we would have to replace one of our bodies 
we're gonna go two on x strike and attack again for another eight Okay, counters out of it. This attack's probably going to eat the Borsalino. Three Dawn in total if we do Kaya into the Rosanate. And then another fourth one for Bonnie to grab a 2k. Uh, I hate playing Risky like that. And we also need to stick one under Kid. Yeah, I think that's the risk that we have to take, is getting rid of this Doki blocker here. We'll draw two. We'll trash. Trash. We'll go... 10k to face. Probably eat the Borsalino. Or he could take the card. And then he's just insulated. Oh, please don't be a shockwave. Shockwave here would ruin us. Oh, he actually didn't have a trigger. That's my bad. Um, we'll go six in. Probably a block and a counter. Or just a counter. We'll go draw our Apu. Return to the deck, and then we're going to go another Rosanate here. And, yeah, I don't know. This one's looking a little rough because he's got so many attacks coming at us. He is on 8 Dawn, but that Kuzan attack is going to eat a blocker at least. And then he's going to Z attack, pop with Rosanate. Then he still has to get over this kid. So, I don't know. If he goes all out here and they're... He just doesn't clear it. There's a chance that we can win next turn. This is a really close game, though. Two underrated leaders going at each other. He's going nine into Kid here. Uh, we do have that 2k. He knows we have it. He was probably trying to bait that out, but I figured he would go another one under to try and bait that out. He's going to go seven now. Probably get rid of our Rosanate. Yep. Okay, well, there he goes, gaining the extra thousand. Then he will be able to beat over it with Kuzan. And then... Fortunately, he would be able to just attack for life here. Damn, that was a really close game. I hope this does display to you all the power that this leader could have, and uh, especially if you play it right. I think that we did play our cards right. That last turn was a little risky trying to get that extra Rosanate out there, but don't really think there was another way to win this game without that you know we gotta let the kid die and then he just attacks attacks i have nothing in hand that's the game tell him gg that was a really strong uh board that he was able to set up there he was able to keep his blockers like i said if we had a 3000 worlds or a red rock i really think we would have um been able to come out on top there maybe disposing of one of those blockers uh here he is saying uh well played uh and to you guest 1477 you will be in the let me cook first episode thank you so much for the great game that was awesome um yeah i'm really excited to build this deck in person and try and take down my locals with it Let's go ahead and take one last look at this list again before we hop off of here. Uh, I really, like I said, I hope this shows the power that this leader has behind it. I think we had a little bit of a rough matchup against that. Like I said, our, our bad matchups are going to be decks that can dispose of our kid or our blockers easily. And that's exactly what Z does. They put 10 drop Kuzon on the field. They have a big beater that you're not going to get rid of. And then they can just pop stuff. 
in, like indefinitely. And um, after that game, I might play some more Red Rocks and 3000 Worlds just to be able to dispose of blockers and big bodies like that Kuzon. We weren't able to see either of these, unfortunately. But if we were, I think that we would have been able to win that game. That Kuzon was really what was doing us in. And yeah, Rosanante blocker is honestly the the cherry on top, the chef's kiss, whatever you want to call it. This card is incredible in this deck and uh, in, in any deck paired with this green kit. So I really hope you all have enjoyed this video. Before we go, I, like I said, I want to say if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this list. If you have any leaders you want me to cover in the next episode, let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And uh, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. If we do, I'll be doing some sort of giveaway. Don't really know what it is yet, but I'm sure I'll think of something spicy to give you all. Um, also, make sure to check out my Discord if you're not in there already. Free box tournament at 100 members. We're getting so close, so make sure you're in there before that ends. Also, I wanted to shout out Dueling Guard. If you haven't heard of Dueling Guard, make sure to go check them out. They are the best TCG accessory company on the market. They make anime-inspired TCG accessories with, from all your favorite animes, and their quality on their products is immaculate. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, check out the link in the description below along with code GUMGUMTCG you can use for a discount at checkout. What? You haven't heard of Dueling Guard? Dueling Guard is the best TCG accessory company on the market. They have high quality deck boxes, binders, and playmats made for people who enjoy playing and collecting trading card games in style. They have tons of designs based off of fan favorite animes such as One Piece, Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist, and many more. They hit the ground running earlier this year making high quality TCG accessories with beautiful designs that have sold out many times. So if you haven't picked up any of their products, make sure to do so before they sell out again. I have a few deck boxes and playmats from them already and can attest to how they don't cut any corners when it comes to quality, performance, and design. I highly recommend their products and use them every time I play cards. Be sure to check the description below for a link to their site and use code GUMGUMTCG for a discount at checkout. I want to say thank you so much again for watching the video. Let me know what you think about this list. If you have your own list, post it in the Discord. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next episode of Let Me Cook. Peace.